Hello everyone, my name is Barrick and I am one of the founders and lead engineers of the Redstone Development Foundation. And today I'm going to show you one of my newer prototypes. This is a 16 character fully customizable display. It is hooked up to these four switches which act as the four bit inputs. So that when I hit one of these switches, for example the one bit, the display will switch to a one. If I hit the 2-bit, the display will show a 2. If I hit 2 and 1, the display will show a 3. Now this is all fine and good, but what makes this particularly unique is that all of the characters that you see, the 1, the 2, the 3, those are just what I chose to program as my 16 characters. In this case, it's a full hex that goes from 0 to F. As you can see, if I hit all of the switches here, we'll get an F. So, all of the different characters, all 16 different characters that are currently 0 through F, can be changed to anything you want. For example, let's go reset it to 0 here. Actually, let's leave it at 1, because I'm going to show you a... I'm going to reprogram 0. 0 is this, this wall of inputs right here. And you can kind of see how some of the inputs are down and some are up to create the 0 shape. So, for example, if I want to make, oh, I don't know, some other weird character, let's say... Uh, da, 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 something like this. I believe that that will make an H. Will it? No. Not without this. There. So now 0, instead of being 0, is an H. So I turn this off, and voila, it's an H. So you can change the inputs along these different walls to any setting that you want, all 16. Uh, this one being 0, and then going on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So simply by changing the switch layout, you can change each individual character. So you could write a message if you wanted to, or you could do weird symbols or whatever you can fit into a 5x3 display you can have this thing programmed to display upon having the switches configured properly. So that is my 16 character customizable display. If you have any questions or comments feel free to post them. Uh, I'd be happy to answer any questions that I can. Uh, also, the download link is listed in the description of the video, so feel free to download it, tear it apart, see how I did everything, and maybe improve it, because right now this is just a rough prototype, and uh, it's not really designed for uh, optimization. I'm currently working on upgrading this to not just a 16 character, but be able to accept a full 8-bit input and display ASCII characters. But that's going to be done a little differently. It's not going to be fully customizable, because frankly I can't fit all of that into the chunk max area. But it will all be hard-coded, so I'll have a whole hard-coded ASCII uh, input set along the back there. And uh, that'll be quite impressive. It'll also be a 5x5 five five screen instead of a 5x3 because some of the ASCII characters can't legibly be fit in a 5x3 screen. So it's going to be a significantly larger project, and uh, I'm looking forward to working on that and seeing how it turns out. So keep an eye out for that in the future. Again, thank you for watching, and my name is Barrick with the Redstone Development Foundation.